Hey, you've been fishing, but have you ever caught a 50 pound fish with your hands? We're in Oklahoma, baby, and we're noodling! This month, we are in Lake Eufaula, Oklahoma, taking Vince Howe on the most epic, crazy, wild adventure we've done yet. Hey, I'm Vince Howell. Vince is a real estate appraiser here in Nashville, Tennessee. He's 43 years old and has two children. And he's probably a little bit of a redneck himself because he's pretty fired up about What's this up, trip. Man? What's up, man? You made it? Yeah, Good man. Good flight? Okay, see you, baby. Okay. Here. <laughs> you told your family goodbye. You said, I'm going to do what? Like, yeah. what do your, your kids want to know what you're doing? Yeah, man, I told them noodling. Dad is about to do it. That's right. It's going down. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I know we were, we were trying to find somebody for a while to, to do the noodling. <laughs> no, but we, we, uh, we decided to do noodling maybe I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. Mainly because it's just kind of fascinating. I think everybody's really kind of fascinated in it. We wanted to break it down, kind of show people what it's all about. Uh, it turns out there's just not a long line of people that want to stick their hands in uh, unknown watery crevices. All right, guys, we just went to the old plantation cafe and we we're with the guide, Canyon here and his assistant. Marion. Marion, he's somewhat of a legend. Not only is he a former Okie Noodle World Champion Tournament winner, he is also on Nat Geo's Mudcats, known as the Catfish King. And we're with Team Swamp Donkey coming in from out of town to show us where all the special spots are and uh, keep us alive, hopefully. All right, guys, we just had a big dinner. We're gearing up to head out for night one. We're gonna see if we can go learn the ins and outs of snatching these catfish so that we're ready tomorrow on game day, tournament day. We're out here to win. We're not out here for just fun. Let's go! Woo! Marion has entered us in the Bite Me Catfish Noodling Tournament here in Eufaula, Oklahoma. Over the next two days, we need to catch at least three 40 to 50 pound catfish Mary. to even stand a chance at winning this sucker. What? About to be sticking our hands in here day one. I'm kind of nervous. Are you nervous? You said you're a redneck. He said I got a fish pinned up in here. He said it's a it's a little blue cat. Not real big, but he's mean. <laughs> oh, I said Vince, you're up. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna be the guinea pig. That's right. I ain't scared. Sit down the edge of that ramp with your toes till you feel a hole underneath the edge of it. Right yeah, I just go right down the edge of it. Keep feeling with your toes. And whenever you get to a hole big enough that you can't touch the end with your toe, you want to go down and put your hand in. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sort of. You want to be laying down like this. Okay. All right. You want you want this hand to pull you down, and you want this hand to go back under. You want to... All right. Oh, I can't believe them. Well, you got to block it. Don't just stick your fingers in there. You don't want them coming out. Don't let it come out. Oh! What? <laughs> that sucker bit me! <laughs> Whoa, bro! <laughs> yes, they did! Don't let so, him come don't, out! <laughs> don't let him come out! Keep, keep him blocked in there! I thought you'd come down here to noodle. Hey, grab him like you I didn't know you'd come to cry. <laughs> Hold yourself under and go! Yeah, grab this hand on the, on the edge. And pull yourself down and run that other arm. Plumb up under the other there as far as you. If you're looking for his lip or his gill, something that you can pull him to the front and wedge him and hold him there until you get a good get a good handhold on him. If he's only biting to there, he's about seven pounds. <laughs> if he bites to back here, that's the ones we're looking for. Ooh, bump, 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 bump. Woo! <laughs> he got me. He got you. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just Be the bait, baby. <laughs> Your fingers are the bait. You see him swimming? <laughs> Still biting? It's big back in there. The hole? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where, that's his den. You getting in there? Just go for it. I, right, I, been, I got his tail. You getting in there? He just went in there and went like that. Did he come out? You got him? He's got him. He's got it! Hang on to it! Hang on to it! You got it? No. Son of a gun. We saw it! The miniature blue cat! The slipperiest thing in the lake! Alright, so that wraps up day one. We're all a little bloody. And uh, we were initiated really well. This was like the training wheels for noodling. This is uh, the fish in here are not nearly as big as the ones we're going for tomorrow, which is <laughs> which is scary. Freaking terrifying. So um, might have an extra beer tonight. And uh, <laughs> how'd we do, Marion? 
Well, for beginners, you did pretty darn good. Okay. <laughs> the, these fish we're going after tomorrow is going to be about seven, eight, 10, 15 times the size of the fish <laughs> that we're messing with today. So, you know, you might say a little prayer before you go to bed or something like that. But I think tomorrow's going to be a really good day. That was a lot of fun. That was. I can see how you get <laughs> My name is Marion Kincaid. I'm going to take these guys out noodling today. Hopefully we're going to come out with a 60 pounder and two 50 pounders. That's what, that's what the goal is today. All right, guys, it's morning two. Uh, last night we went out for the first time. We kind of broke the surface a little bit, broke the surface of our skin. Yeah. I think we all got a little bloody hands, like Marion said. If you ain't bleeding, you ain't hand fishing. The, these catfish go in there and make their dens to spawn and create babies. And whenever you stick your hand in that, in that hole, you're sticking your, it's like somebody walking in your front door without knocking somebody that you don't know. So they're attack. They attack whatever's coming at that because you're coming after their children. And they do attack. And they do attack, yeah. Okay, so uh, well, once you, when you, you kind of leave it in there and, and you're not going well, for the they, gills, you're, you're trying to get that, the front lip, right? Yeah, the bottom, bottom lip, not the top lip. Okay. Bottom lip's like a suitcase handle. Right. Once you, once you kind of get an edge on that, if you ever get your hand in his mouth, he's gonna start trying to roll. Okay. If you can get your other hand to push him down, okay. to hold his head down while you're getting a good grip and then slip the other hand in there, then you want to pull him out and, and wrap a leg around him. You want to get your legs around him and when you pull him out of the hole and come up and yeah. whenever you pop up, you yell, get me. Hopefully somebody's right there close and, and we can get you and hold you because you don't want to stand up trying to hold the fish because right. you're not going to hold it. It's going to get away. It's going to spin out. Wow. And whenever they spin and you got a hold of them, that's when you really get to bleeding. Right. You know, and <laughs> the next morning you really feel it, boy. <laughs> That's some serious yeah. stuff right there. That's got alcohol in it. This guy's can hit right off the gate. Nope. There ain't nobody beating this guy. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> I got my hand, I got my suit and foot. Put it together. Ready? Put it together. Got a minute? Yeah. All right. Push them on in there. Don't whenever you come out of the hole, immediately put your if you don't get him, put your feet in there and turn your toes out, both of them. They'll come out and get out. Okay, man. Alright, ready? One, two, three. Got him. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. You got him? I got a sail. I got a sail. I got a sail. All right, guys, we just caught our big first flathead cat. 30 pounds even. We're in the running for the tournament. We're going to freaking smoke this thing. We're going to another uh, spot, and Vince is going to get his hands dirty. Yeah. Up to the yeah, you gotta get down, lay down, and go <laughs> in. All right, all right. Yeah, this far in there. Shoulder deep. He's a little bit of a risk. This is it, man. Shoulder deep, baby. You you got the God give you, you a three foot arm for it. I felt of his arm, and it was like this. I was like, dude, you gotta go, man. You should have grabbed it. Just jump in. Yeah, just jump. Yeah, remember, on top, like this. Put your fingers on top, bottom lip. Fingers on top and thumb on the bottom. We need to get a trash bag. You're over. You're hyperventilating. <laughs> He's fixing the thumb from right here. Get it in there now. Ding. Oh, there he went in. Dude. Michael went in between oh. the legs. Oh, I feel him moving quite a bit. Yep. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. I can feel his leg, his arm shaking like a beast. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's got it. Again. You got it? Yeah! Hold on to him! Hold on to him! Grab his with your other hand, too. Yeah, yeah, let him go. All right, he's yours. Send him. All right. Let him go. Yep. Yeah! <laughs> 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 we're, we got one pinned in this hole. Yeah, push him back up here. And we're trying to get him out. <laughs> no, this is right. freaking crazy. Crazy. All right, let's Did he roll. bite you? Let's get him. Yeah, he got me, but I missed him. All right, ready? Just had it. Just had an earthquake underwater. Oh, there it is, boy. He's yeah. rumbling, he's rumbling. Is. He's hitting him hard. Yeah, he's stomping underneath there. 
He's ready to tussle. They're going down there to tussle with him. There he comes. Got him. Get ready, grab Get down. Go down. Go down. Get down. Go, go, go. He's whipping. There's a little one. Huh? No, he's in there. Is there two? I think there's just one. The one that just he's in there. He's in there good. No, he bit him. All right, ready? Yep, there you go. Here they go. Trying again. Hopefully they come out with a foot. All right, let's block there it. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I got it blocked. Go over and block. Michael, go over and block. This is a fake snake, but it is actually a real snake. When did they kill this thing? I just found it. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> it's 7:30. Most people would say, "Hey, that's the day." Not us. Not Swamp Donkey. Okay, here we go. Earlier, we were in this really nice lake. And then the guy said, hey, uh, let's go to this other place and let's <laughs> climb inside this old oil house and let's then this go underneath <laughs> where the falls are and up and in this cave and flush some fish out. And we were like, sweet. <laughs> These guys are hardcore, man. They do tournaments like this, so they're they're after the big fish. But man, for yeah. amateurs, that was, uh, that was freaking scared. It was crazy. <laughs> like, look at this, folks. Spencer looks like he's the dang leader over there. Yeah. Belly hanging out, cut off blue jeans. Like he is in his natural environment right now. Native species. <laughs> Noodling for Hey, good, welcome. Good morning. We're gonna go stick our hands in some more fish's mounds this morning. We don't know why, but we're going to. They gave me grief, so I couldn't wear a glove. He didn't wear a glove, I did. So I got some, but nothing like yours. Oh, now it's hard to do normal day activities. Unzip your pants. And when you're noodling, you only need one thing. Stromboli. Stromboli from my gas station. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're heading to the boat dock to meet Marion. And we are ready for day three. And I got a really nice tan, a little cleavage tan. There he is, look, putting on his jersey too. I felt him, so. Did you feel his mouth? Yep, yep. Well, uh, grab that bottom <laughs> lip, bring us out. Did you push? I am. Yeah, I pushed him your way. All right, yep. You want to do it again? <laughs> yep. You going to get him this time? I'm going to get him this time. Keep your yep. foot and hold on. He's going to try to get him this okay, time. All right. I don't okay. think he's going to go there. He feels pretty good. All right. You never know. Can't get him? Uh-uh. He's squirreling. Okay. How big is he? It's hard, boy. He's throttling now. There's two fish in there. One of them is a lot bigger than the other one. <laughs> There's two in there. Huh? There's two fish in there. I don't know, Israel. Uh-huh. If you come straight at me, you're gonna, you can't help but miss him. Go down. Get down there. <laughs> They're gonna get him this time, I think. And I think he knows if he don't, he's just gonna get rooted out. <laughs> Mother of what? That big one just came out of nowhere <laughs> and just got your mother with me. Really? Just got gobbled up. 
<laughs> There's a big one in there. This is a group effort here. I love it. They sure. should. Got it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh man. Pick it on up out there. <laughs> Pick it up. Let's see. Look at that belly. Yeah. Oh, we've had a great day out here. Another uh, beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for that. And uh, great fishing today. Great noodling today. Uh, heading to the, the weigh-in shortly, and uh, coming home with a W. Hey, Hey, I want to thank uh, the Swamp Donkey team out of Southern Oklahoma. My lakes was up 25, 30 feet. Got some fish. You know, we caught a ton of fish. These guys got bites on their arms and their hands like they never had before. I've got some new friends from Tennessee. I've got some new friends from Southern Oklahoma. Thanks for coming. All right, yeah, loved it. Uh, best adventure ever. Uh, we had a great time with uh, Marion and uh, Swamp Donkeys. This isn't our normal adventures that we do, but let me just say that there's adventure in your backyard. We're on a very metropolitan lake area, and there's lots of people around, and there's these creatures roaming the depths, and this is an unbelievable adventure. Thank you very much, Marion. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. We're fixing to release them back into a new home. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. All right, guys, that concludes noodling. It was pretty awesome. We didn't win the tournament, but we still had a blast. Absolutely. Sticking your hand in a dark hole is just unimaginable, and then a monster eats it. But um, <laughs> the tournament was awesome, but not winning is not what it's about. We made some great friends while we were here. We brought Vince along with us. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, man. Absolutely. It was great. What would you tell other people that are thinking about doing an adventure? It's like, ah, I'm 40. I got a lot of kids, I don't have enough money, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, hey, I would say go for it. Uh, it was uh, exhilarating and terrifying at the same time. If you want to be part of our next adventure, subscribe to the channel and click the link in the description. In that link, you're going to find a complete breakdown of how to get into noodling, the logistics of it, how much it costs, and all the crazy questions that you have. Check out their videos. Wow, that was good. <laughs> Check out the videos below. <laughs> Keep grooving, guys. That was the idea. That's it. That's it.